In this video, we'll take a look at the new date and date time picker in uh, version 11. Uh, the demonstration here is inside the dialog component, but for the most part, all of the comments that I'm going to make here apply equally well to the uh, grid component. So um, let's uh, take a look at some of the uh, features now. So first of all, you can see here when I click on the uh, icon here, uh, in this case, uh, I'm getting a date and uh, time picker. So you can see uh, there's the calendar portion over there, but there's also the time portion. So uh, if I go here and I can change that to say 11 a.m. and um, um, that's 18 minutes past the hour and uh, there are my seconds over there and I can toggle between a.m. and p.m. I can change the month by clicking on that and uh, selecting a month. I can change the year by clicking on the year and then uh, choosing a year I can click on the today button over there and uh, since this is uh, being configured as a date and time picker there's an OK button there to actually make my selection. On the other hand uh, if I click on this uh, icon over here this has been configured just as a date picker only and therefore there's no need for an OK cancel button just simply clicking on the date will make the selection um, over there. So, um, and then uh, finally this uh, um, uh, picker over here has been configured as a time picker only, so this just has the uh, time portion. So, um, internally there's just one control, a date time picker, and the way that the control renders uh, depends on the format string that you pass in. So in this case, our format string has both a date portion and a time portion and therefore we got a date and time picker. In this case our format string was only a time portion so we just got the time portion and in this case our format string was the date portion only. So let's go and see how, how this was done. So um, if we go to our controls and look at for the first control say date of birth we see um, that uh, the the, the data type is date, but if we go down and we look here at the, um, the date format, we see that this is using the default date format. So let's go and see how the default date format is defined. So we go back now to properties, and this is now a global setting for the date format. So you can see here the date format has um, a date part and also, also an optional uh, time port portion. So here we go. If we bring it up, you can see there's all of the different options for the date part. And then the time format, um, you can uh, use uh, these uh, codes for the time format or just choose one of the predefined time format codes. So this now defines the default date format. And so if I go back to controls here, and I say default, that's going to use the global default, but I can go um, to this particular control and override the global default and set it to anything that I want. So let's go here, for example, and say uh, date format only. And now when I go to uh, working preview here, you can see now that we've turned this now back into just a uh, regular date picker. So let's now look at some of the other options that are available uh, for the date picker. So um, you can see here that we've got an option to show uh, weeks of year. So if I go there now and open the date picker, it's showing the week of the year. So we're currently in here the 33rd week uh, of the year. Um, you can, um, for example, uh, turn off the display of the um, uh, the uh, weeks as as show the days of the week. I've turned off the days of the weeks now, so when I open up the date picker, we don't see the days of the week. Uh, perhaps not that useful. Anyway, let's pause now and pick it up in the next video.